trouble for Timmy. <laughs> so, Bo, what's up? Come see. He's a bear who says his name. Look! Ooh, neat. Snowy, Angela, hi, Timmy. Nice to meet you. You're the coolest bear ever. Do you think Timmy might be hungry? Yeah, we should probably get Timmy some bear food. Uh-huh. How about some cereal for you? Oh, my. <laughs> Good boy, Timmy. Now Timmy wants to turn on the swings. <laughs> ha! Okay. <laughs> Look, check it out, guys. That tree is walking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> What's this huge thing? This here is our brand new orange tree. Gonna bring it over to our house. Ooh. How neat! A real life orange tree! <laughs> Am I allowed to eat an orange right now? Sure thing, though we should probably wash it off first. Uh-huh. <laughs> Help me bring it home. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> I forgot Timmy. So, have you two finished all your homework? Not yet. Uh, just a sec. Uh... Should we leave him alone out here? No, he'll get all wet. We should take him back home with us and give him back later. Good idea. <laughs> there, carefully. <laughs> all aboard the bear train. Magic Express! Chicka, 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 chicka. Doo -doo. Let's go, friend. Time to get you back to Angela and Snowy. Hey! Not yet. I'll give it back. No, me! <laughs> How can we return him now? There must be a way to fix him. Oh! Nice. <gasps> so, this isn't working. Now Angela and Snowy are never going to play with us ever again. What would happen if we just didn't tell them that we brought Timmy home with us? Hmm. Um. Uh-huh. Hi. Hello, Mrs. Sheep. What are you doing over here? Yoga. Would you like to try? Uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. That was fun. Okay, see you later. Anytime. <laughs> so, Bo, any chance you guys have seen Timmy? Uh... Uh, look, he's right there. <laughs> Our bear! Aw, <gasps> uh. somebody must have come along and ripped off his hat after we left him out here. <gasps> oh, man! And he's stained with modeling clay, too! You think it's because they tried to fix him? They only made him look worse! <gasps> Does he want a new hat from a leaf? He doesn't. Plus, it's got worms in it. How about a helmet for him? Now he's like a knight. No thanks. That's not really his personality. Hmm. Poor Timmy used to be cute, and now this. Yeah, we should have never left him all alone outside. <sighs> it's our fault this happened. What? We tried to save him from the rain, but then we tore his hat off. We're sorry, guys. And the clay was also us. We didn't want to tell you about it. Huh? 
We know that you probably don't want to be friends with us now. So, Bo, don't worry about that. We'll always be great friends no matter what. And actually, Timmy says a helmet looks pretty cool too. <laughs> hmm. There must be a way to solve this. Miss Sheep, can we have some thread? Why, yes, of course. I always have some with me. This is such a great idea. I know, he totally likes it. Timmy looks the most handsome he's ever looked. And a hat to top it off. <laughs> you rock! A race to say thank you. Hula hooping one, two, three. Outdoors, indoors, look at me. <laughs> and what has Bo got? Watch him get the perfect shot. You're really good at making up rhymes, though. Ooh, I bet you can't make one about, um, doing good deeds. Hmm. Do, 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 hey, hey, hey. Let's do something nice today. Zoe, it's time to go in. Your dad prepared lunch for us. Just a sec. I'll be in soon. Gotta think of a rhyme first. Do, 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 hey, hey, hey. Let's do something nice today. Hmm. Is what I've written enough? Writing about good deeds is tough. Maybe just, I think, let's go and, oh! <gasps> <sighs> Good deeds. <sighs> something, something. <sighs> it's too heavy for me. Hooray! <laughs> I did it! Doing good deeds is nice. Do it now and don't think twice. Oh, hey there, Michael. Oh, see, thank you. Oh, I forgot it's lunchtime. Cool, Zoe. That was a nice thing you did for me. Letting me sit on your stump. You must have noticed how tired I was. I can't thank you enough. Wait, where'd she go? Maybe she didn't stick around to hear me say thank you. I need to go find her so I can thank her properly. Oh, and give her a strawberry. She likes those. Do, do, do. And now I can say thank you. Excuse me, Mr. Bull. Is Zoe home now? I'm afraid you just missed her. She went to Nick's house. Let me give you a hand, sir. My dearest Zoe, I would just like to thank you sincerely. You are truly the kindest of cows. <laughs> hey, you. Have we met before? <laughs> Dear, you're too funny. Oh, is Zoe back yet? She was here for a moment, but left again. I think she went down to the pond for a swimming class. You'll find her there. I'd like to sincerely thank you for all your help today, Michael. <laughs> Be there soon. <laughs> Thank you very much. <sighs> so, thank you. Oh, hey, Michael. You here to swim? Actually, I'm looking for Zoe. Is she here? She's underwater right now. <laughs> There's a snorkel. Why don't you join us? In a bit. I just need to practice some more first. Oh, dearest Zoe, I was tired and you let me sit on your stump and stuff. Thanks a lot. They finished their class a while ago. They left. They're over there, by that hill. <sighs> My dearest Zoe, thank you for what you did. I was walking very far 
to bring you these. Hey, you guys. Is Zoe nearby? Not here. She just ran home to get a hula hoop. <gasps> Want to help us make the biggest soap bubble you've ever seen? After I find Zoe. So, I want to say sincerely, I mean thank. Woo! I think I ran out of thanks. Uh, what's going on? I have to say thank you. What for? For the stump. You let me sit on it. Oh, wow. You don't need to thank me for that. But I did write a poem here. Can I tell it to you? Doing good deeds is nice. Do it now and don't think twice. Thanks to this old stump again, I heard thank you from a friend. That poem was so good. Uh, should I say thank you for that too? Huh? Don't worry about it. You want to go blow bubbles with Makar and Lizzie? Looks like fun to me. Hooray! Let's race there! Hup. The Mystery of the Missing Pie. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How are my healthy little athletes doing? <gasps> Quiet. Shh. Bo's having his afternoon nap. Let's quietly go to the bathroom and wash up. And then we can have our snack. I say something tasty for you. Ooh. The most delicious, scrumptious, yummiest mwah, treat you've ever had. A homemade cherry pie. <gasps> Someone stole it. Shh. Look here. There's a crumb trail. been really hungry. <laughs> but how could he eat a whole cherry pie by himself? And if he did eat it all himself, how would we know? Solving the mystery is possible. You just have to make sure to be super, super sneaky about it. What do you mean, Theo? Show us, okay? Now you'll have to walk like this. Wow! Keep your nose high, like this. Ooh! And only talk, hmm, just like that. Bravo, bravo! Hmm. Toothache? Interesting, Bo. You see how the sun is so perfectly round? It looks like the crust of a perfect cherry pie. Yeah, and it kind of looks like a pancake, too. And a coin. And a sunny side egg. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Bo, I might be 
imagining it, but is there something you'd like to tell me, perhaps? Whoa! <laughs> yes, Zoe. I was about to say something to all of you. You guys want to play some hide-and-seek with me? Yeah, that would be lots of fun, Bo. I think I'll go hide behind the curtains. Oh, I don't want to play. Not with Bo. He hurt my feelings, you know. You can play once, can't you? Well, I really don't know. I'm so busy. Oh, come on, please. Well, okay, but just one game. Hooray! Hooray! Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not? Hmm. <laughs> Surprise! I found you! Now... <laughs> found you, found you, Kathy. Now let's find Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Found you, found you! Found me, found me, that's okay. Now I'm gonna run away. <laughs> oh, hey, wait! Whoa! Ugh. Oh, <laughs> There you are! Caught you, Bo! <laughs> Could that be? My pie! That's right. I put it in the fridge so it wouldn't spoil or anything. We thought you ate the whole thing by yourself. That's right. That's why I got mad. But you were just being kind. I'm sorry. I should have asked you. <gasps> oh. Bo, you deserve the absolute biggest piece of all. <sighs> just wish the pie wasn't so small. <laughs> Why worry? We'll just have to make a bigger one, that's all. We'll, we'll help, help you. you. Me too. Pie for dinner is the best. Especially when the dessert is more pie. <laughs> a new record. Okay, cheese. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That thing's huge. I bet it could even go in the book of ah. records. Wait, what book are you talking about? It's a book of all the most amazing things anyone's ever done in the world. Whoa. Let's go. I bet we could set a world record too. Oh, cool. What are we going to do? Hmm. I don't know, but I bet we'll figure it out. Hmm. All good to go. How about it? <laughs> the world's biggest bubble. <gasps> <gasps> now the highest goal. <laughs> the strongest kid in the whole world. You can do it! You can do it! Yay! I haven't set a single record all morning. <gasps> How tall can you build those? How many carrots? I don't know. How tall should it be? Way bigger. Maybe like... Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Like Mob. Huge. <laughs> but why? What do you mean? So you can set a new record. Then our town will be famous. I guess if it's for our town, then I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> Except I'm kind of short on carrots. I'll go get some more. Be right back. 
la 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 chop 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 About a salad instead. We don't have time for salad making. It's record breaking time. Huh. <laughs> 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 Aww. Hmm. Who else do we know grows carrots around here? Boom, 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 hmm? boom, boom, boom. Oh. Look, more carrots are on the way. We're taking a break. It's hot. But we don't have much left to go before we're done. I don't want to build it without you. Zoe, look. Oh. Huh? Michael! <gasps> oh, no. <sighs> <sighs> Oh. All done. That's got to be a record. I've got a good feeling. Hmm. Oh. oh, wait. No, Mom, that's cheating. We're so, so, so close, you guys. My car. It's lunchtime. Come on. <gasps> Makar, hang on, wait! There's only one carrot left. We're definitely close to setting that awesome world record. Ah! Oh, oh. I spent so much time worrying about setting this record. Now it's all for nothing. <laughs> <sighs> so, I'm so sorry. I tried to make you and the whole town happy with this tower. I know that you did, but I wanted to set a record. <sighs> <gasps> oh, what a harvest! Well done, kids! That's a new record, you guys! And which record is that? Your carrot harvest, of course. Nobody in our town has ever gathered this much. Hooray! Uh a new record! <laughs> Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, guess what? You set your own record, you know? The biggest carrot pie you've ever cooked. Not to mention world's smallest salad <laughs> without carrots. <laughs> Coming, dear guests. Won't you have a seat? Please help yourself. That sounds pretty good. You sounded very polite. Bo, <laughs> you know no one's here yet. I know that, Zoe, but I'm trying to show good etiquette like Dad taught me before they arrive. Huh. They're here. Ha! Huh. We made it! Hi, Hi guys. guys! Thank you for coming, dear guests, and welcome to our home. No, Zoe. Do make yourselves at home. Help yourself. At, at home, home, huh? Huh? Hooray! <laughs> Thanks a lot! Look, this is mine and Bo's bedroom. <gasps> make yourselves at home. All right. We'll make ourselves at home. Yeah. At home, we don't keep any books on tables. Wait! I wasn't done reading that yet. Oh. Uh. So nice of you to prepare some snacks. Thanks a bunch. You shouldn't leave your plates lying around, so I'll put it back. But that was there for my drawing. I'm not done. I needed that. Hmm. <gasps> Need this, right? Uh, I'll 
don't need this. Uh, also, we could use some pencils, please. Hmm. Oh! Uh, but Snowy, it took so long to make the bed nice. How else am I supposed to make a tent? Just like home. <gasps> Wait, what are you doing with my coloring book? I'm still using it. Well, I guess that... <gasps> hey, what if we did my coloring book together? Nah, I'll do it alone. Like I do at home. Uh, that's much better. But why? You can't see anything in the dark. No, that's too much sun. How about we turn on a lamp instead? There. Now it's just like at home. That's much better. I think I need to just sit. I don't remember Dad warning us about this. Three o'clock! It's time to go home? Nope. It's time for our daily dance party. Third position. <laughs> A spin on the dance floor. Hmm. One, two, three. Time to get groovy. Okay, it's charge time. So, heads up. <laughs> hey, kids. You guys playing nice? Just don't forget to put everything where it belongs, okay? This stuff is where it all belongs. Just like at our home. But it's not this way at our home. Yeah. Now it's like we're visiting your house. Are, Are you, you sure? sure? We had everything set up the way we like to make it feel like our space. And everything was in its proper place. Not now. But do you remember what you said? You said we could make ourselves at home. That's a polite thing you're supposed to say to guests. We didn't mean that you should actually turn our home into your home. We're sorry. We really misunderstood. We messed up. That's not very groovy. We can put everything back in its place. Huh? Hmm. Not so fast. We can at least finish dancing first. Since you are guests, and we do want you to have fun. Let's go. Should we dance first or clean? How about both things? up for some tea and snacks. Do you drink tea at your house? With yummy pie. Actually, for our snack, we have smoothies at home. But at your house, we'll be happy to have tea and pie. Cause when you're at someone else's home, it can be fun to try new things. <laughs> now you two have to come to our house sometime. And you can make yourselves at home, right Bo? <laughs> Awful laziness. <laughs> well, back from the market? Yes, I like to go in the morning mm. when all the vegetables are nice and fresh. Theo, you're here. Come and play with us. Mm. First, I'll drop these bags off. And then I'll come out. Is that okay, Grammy? Now, Theo, I think you should take a nap. But, Grammy, I'm not a baby anymore. I don't have to take naps. <laughs> Theo? My. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? Theo, 
Hello. Hey, what's the matter? Huh? Oh, I'm too tired to be blindfolded. We could always play regular tag instead, right? Uh-huh. Or hide. Huh? And seek. <sighs> Maybe you guys should just play without me for a while. I just feel lazy. This is a tricky thing. I heard once that you have to cure your laziness right away. <gasps> or one day you'll wake up and you'll never want to do anything again. No, no, no. I want to do a whole lot of things. Hmm. But maybe I'll just do them tomorrow. We'll cure you, Theo! Stay right there. We'll think of something. Yeah. Help! This is an emergency! Do you know any cures for laziness, Dad? It so happens I do. The best remedy is to find something new to do. Like sports, for instance. We know how to cure you. You ready? Oh, well, I guess so. isn't working. Right. We need something more interesting. Can any of you think of something? Uh, hey! I'll be right back. How about chess? Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Fun, right? We'll gather the leaves and you can glue them. <sighs> A sandcastle, maybe? <sighs> Wait, we forgot all about soccer. Theo loves soccer. do much of anything either. I have a bad feeling. Theo's laziness might be catching. Yeah, it's kind of sneaky. I was okay this morning. I did my daily exercises. I washed all the dirty dishes after we ate breakfast. Done. I even helped Granny. Then later when we got home, I suddenly felt so lazy. Wow, that is kind of weird, right? You did all that without feeling lazy. And then like that, it changed. Angela! Snowy! Come inside now. It's time for your nap. Hooray! Nap time. Uh, they're so lucky. They get to nap during the day. <sighs> so why can't we have nap time? That's easy. We're grown-ups. Wait a minute. Grown-ups make decisions, right? You're right. I'm grown-up, so I can decide to have a nice nap. Me too! Now that's what I call a grown-up decision. A letter to Santa Claus. There! <laughs> 
It's so cool, Gray. We get to celebrate at your house this year. I know. This year, I asked my mom to give me a book all about Bengal tigers. What did you ask Santa Claus for? Well, I guess I'd ask Santa Claus for lots of different stuff. If he really existed. Huh? <gasps> what? What do you mean? Then you... Wait, you mean you don't believe in Santa? Then who gets all those letters we write every year? And then leaves us all the toys we want under the tree. I saw him last year, outside my window. It was Santa Claus for sure. We all saw him. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's right. Me too. Aw, uh, whatever. Anyways, I've got to go shovel. No way. He really doesn't believe in Santa Claus. He didn't write him a letter or anything? Santa Claus will be so upset. Wait, I think I have an idea. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Are you warm enough, little boy? Sure, I'm plenty warm. A little hot, even. Uh. You haven't written your letter to me this year, Gray, have you? Uh, just who is that talking, anyway? <gasps> well, um... Why? It's me, Santa Claus! Ho, ho, ho! And now, huh? for today's weather, we'll have some more snow. Well, hello, Gray. Oh, it's the radio. Hello there. Glad to see you. We came to decorate your yard. <laughs> huh? You're making pies? Uh-huh. I came to help you. <gasps> I think I'll make a cabbage pie. No! Jam pies are better. Ah. How about strawberry jam? Um, maybe we should use the jam over here. Come on, Bo, hurry. I am. Hmm. The middle one's good. It's got cherries, see? I guess we'll have to pick out all the pits then. Ah, right, sure, the pits. Maybe cabbage uh, would be better. I just remembered, uh, I have to go. See ya. Phew. Ooh, did you draw these gray? Nope, was it me? By the way, did you write your letter to Santa Claus yet? Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 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 ho, ho, ho! I wonder why Gray didn't send me a letter this year. But Santa Claus, I just put my letter to you in the tree hole. Uh, uh. Uh. Yeah. Oops. <gasps> so this was all your idea. Some friends you are. <sighs> Sweetie, is there something the matter? Zoe and everyone played a mean trick on me. They pretended they were Santa. And I believed them. And then wrote that dumb letter. What did you ask him for, dear? A snow scooter. <laughs> That's all? Also, I asked for my friends to always be together and for us to never have a fight. <gasps> hey, hang on. Be right back. Huh? We're sorry, Gray. Honest. We didn't mean to make you feel bad. We just wanted you to believe in magic again. I was rushing out here to find you all, and here you are. That's magic enough for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you believe in magic, life really can be sweet. When life is sad and tragic, some magic makes it neat. Try just a little wonder, and soon you'll surely see what once was fun and humdrum one day works so wonderfully. But if you want your dreams to all come true, Magic 
like when you give a gift for free. It lives in love and generosity. And when you give until your heart is full. Oh. Surprise, surprise, before, before your eyes. Your life is magical. Open up your heart and you will fly. Surprise, <laughs> walk more lovely when you're kind. Magic is here when you hold each other's hand. That's what makes life truly grand. Grace new friends. Good morning. Well, good morning, kids. Look at all those letters. Whoa, who sent you all that mail? All my new friends. Huh? I had no idea it was even possible to have that many friends. They published Gray's poetry in a magazine. So cool. Congratulations. Thanks, you guys. Now I get letters from readers all over the world. But I have to answer all of them before the post office closes. Well, we came to invite you to Lizzie's house. We're gonna go test out her new invention. <gasps> <sighs> I don't think so. Huh? Hmm? But I could go if I brought the letters along, too. Uh. Oh, oh, got it. Ha ha. Huh? <clears throat> hey, Gray, may I have that blanket? Uh huh. Hmm. Gray, it's your turn. <laughs> oh. <gasps> really? Why'd you throw the blanket on us? Oh, I'm sorry, but I was reading. Here you go. Be careful, sweetie. <laughs> the official game of handball. It's about to begin. Like soccer, but with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Fan of yours. Huh? Yeah. Uh. Hup. Hup. Hey. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Hmm. Ha. 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 Yeah. <gasps> My thoughts creep up like a fly on the wall. <laughs> they spin and they swirl just like a. <gasps> We're losing here. Yeah, yeah, but just give me a minute. Because of that goal, <sighs> I didn't get to finish composing my note. Are you saying that these notes are more important than our game? Oh, in this one, my friend sent me his dad's recipe for pinecone jam. But what kind of jam recipe can I send them back? Hmm? Dandelion! I gotta go get it for my mom. Uh, how is our team gonna play without a goalie? I guess the ref has to call it. That means Lizzie, oh. Bo, <laughs> and Nick won. Uh, aww. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Next month, the weather here will be so cold. Gray, don't you want to swim with us? Not right now. My friends are waiting for me. Well, as long as those friends aren't kept waiting. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh no, my letters. I should have gotten distracted by your games. Uh, what? Well, I for one think you're distracted by these letters. Yeah, by all of those new friends. I don't have any new friends anymore. And my old friends don't get me at all. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. 
<sighs> when are you going to mail out your letters, sweetheart? Never, I guess. They're soaking wet. <gasps> and I was trying so hard to be loyal to my new friends that I hurt my old ones. Oh, but sweetheart, it's not too late to make up with them. Oh, speaking of old friends. Hey, Gray, we picked up every single letter. Do you want us to help you with them? <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. you're able to send the letters to your new friends, and just in time. Thank you, Bo. But since I wrote to them all about you guys, I bet they're going to be your new friends, too. Oh, wow! Thanks, old friend. I can't wait to write all of them. What? More writing? <laughs> <laughs> up half a basket. Hmm. <laughs> Twenty. You're the clear winner then, Nick. Although... Michael, how many apples have you got? Oh, well... <laughs> Just let me count. Ow! I think I sprained my arm, you guys. <gasps> oh. Michael! How could that happen? You know, I must have tried a little too hard. <laughs> it's gonna be just fine. But first, you need to rest it. Okay, kids, let's call it a day for the apple picking. <laughs> Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Here I come. Hmm. <laughs> Michael, that means you're it. <sighs> <sighs> I don't want to be it. Oh. Ow! My poor eye. <gasps> Are you okay, Michael? A huge fly flew in my eye, the size of an elephant. <laughs> I've never seen a fly that size. Show me. Hmm. I don't see an elephant, though. I don't see a fly. Well, I see them, and they won't stop flashing in front of my eye. All that flashing can't be good for you, Michael. You need to rest your eye for a while, Boo. Oh, wow, Michael. You look like a pirate. Hey, we should go sailing. Yo ho ho! Let's go, Bo! I think our pirate needs a bed a lot more than he needs a boat. Oh, all right. We'll go build a ship in the meantime. And name it after you, mate. <laughs> Can I have some tomatoes, Mom? They're my favorite. You gather the raspberries first and then we'll eat. I promise. <sighs> Ah. <laughs> <sighs> mm. Oh, I twisted my ankle. Huh? Uh. Mm. Huh. That's pretty strange. It's the third time today that you mysteriously hurt yourself. 
I guess I've been a little clumsy. Who knows why? Come on, let's dive in! <laughs> I wish you could come with us, Michael. <sighs> Ready for a bicycle race, you guys? Yeah! Michael, I don't know if you should be racing right now. Come on, Mom, I'll be fine. Don't worry, we'll race again after you heal up. Yeah, maybe next week. But I can go. My ankle's really not that bad. Sorry, sweetie, but you really do need to rest. Uh, that means you're gonna miss the basketball match, too. And that means our team is going to play without its captain. Stop! Wait! Oh. The truth is, I didn't really hurt my ankle or my arm or my eye. It just felt so good when you guys were taking care of me. And I got a little carried away. Then you were faking it the whole time? We were really worried about you being hurt. You'll never know how much. Oh, I didn't mean for you guys to worry. I'm really sorry. Plus, it was so hard to miss out on all those games you played. Can I play with you guys now, huh? <laughs> of course you can, Michael. We really missed you on the pirate ship. And in the pond. And what's basketball without a captain? No fun. Hooray! No more injuries for me. <laughs> oh, he, well, I for one am just happy you're all right. Hey, just don't scare us like that again. Sound good? It won't happen again. Bear's honor. <gasps> <gasps> I'm all good. It's time to play. <laughs> Soccer math. One, two, three. Ooh. Oh, uh, 25. Look, it's the neighborhood's best soccer player. About time you got here. I've been waiting all day to play. We had a bunch of homework today. A whole backpack of it. And have you finished your homework today already, Theo? Pretty much. I only have a little bit of math left to work on. But I just don't want to do it. How's it even useful anyway? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> huh? Whoa. Whoa! Soccer's way better than <laughs> math. <laughs> okay, it's game time. Whoa. Is it soccer time? Can we play with you guys? Sure, come join our team. Zoe and Theo can be on their own team. <gasps> okay. Uh, I'm not so sure. <sighs> Zoe, over to you. <sighs> oh dear. Hmm, pass to me. It appears the green team has scored one goal. Hooray! <laughs> well, let's keep going, you guys. Heads up, Zoe. Yeah. Whoa! Theo, come here! On my way. Hurry! Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> So, how come they've scored a whole lot and not us? Because there's so many more of them. Just count them. Hmm. I count at school already. I don't want to count for fun. Listen, Theo. Now their team has one, <laughs> two, three, four, five? No, Yay. four. Uh, they have four players, and we only have two. Well, that isn't fair. Looks like we should have a more equal number of players, like three. Maybe. Yes, you're right. Oh, hey, Snowy, you want to help be our goalie? For Team Orange. Okay! I 
would love to! <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit more fun now with three against three. <laughs> oh. Can't use your hands. Those are the rules. I forgot. It's time for a penalty kick. Penalty kicks are at 11 meters. A meter is maybe about like so far. Hmm? Uh, no, that far. Ah. Uh. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Hmm, I think that's fine. Good players should be able to kick from any spot they want. Eleven. Okay. Hey! Ha ha. <clears throat> oh! Oh! <laughs> Good players should really know how to kick from 11 meters. It's all good. Oh. We'll be fine, though. Heads up, here's the ball. Awesome, Zoe. That one is as good as ours. <laughs> Guess it's not as good as ours. But I don't see how. We scored so many goals today. The orange team scored four points. <laughs> they scored five. <laughs> you see? <sighs> I don't want to count. But you have to count sometimes, even in soccer. It looks like they have five, we have four. So if we want to tie, we need... Oh, just one more. Heads up! <laughs> And the game is a tie. Hooray! Yay! That was so much fun. Great game, you guys. Turns out counting isn't completely useless, long as you're counting goals. Ooh. Or maybe counting pies. Who wants a snack? Oh. Who gets this very last one? Whoever could use the energy to do their math homework. That'd be me. Where are my textbooks again? 